music. A lot of the stuff, a lot of you guys have experienced Renaissance things without even maybe knowing that they're Renaissance. That'd be number two. Yeah. So, um, let's think about a little bit more about the Renaissance specifically. So, although this is a time period where we're seeing new interests, we're seeing this era as a time of rebirth. We're seeing a changing worldview, right? We have this interest in Greece and Rome, and we talk, I mentioned, right? We talked a teeny bit about this. Why do you think Italy was the birthplace of the Renaissance, why do you think that is? They could be wealthier. This is that discussion question. So we're gonna talk about this in a second. I want you guys to post, but th be thinking about this. We have an interest in Greece and Rome. We have Renaissance thinkers start to focus less on um, religious aspects and more on individual worldly human aspects. Right? We're looking at the variety of the human experience. We're looking at the here and now. This is all Renaissance. Society starts to place a bigger um, influence, more emphasis on individual achievement. Okay? Renaissance thinkers change their focus. Like I said, they're going to take this idea of humanism and they're going to run with it. So it studies Greek and Roman culture. It's the shift in thought. Like I said, it emphasizes the humanities. We have language, we have poetry, we have history, logic, language referencing Latin. And all of this was studied and then specifically applied to individuals' lives, right? We have this aspect. We have um, a new view of this. In the beginning, I said, they start looking at history and thinking, oh, maybe the Greeks were right. And we're gonna see, especially when we get to Machiavelli, how he used history to kind of twist his political ideology. We're gonna get there, not today, but we are gonna get there. But it's a new view here. Uh, the video talked a little bit about uh, Francesco uh, Petrarch. He is covered in the video, like I said, he's from Florence. So he is Florentine, he's a very early humanist. He helped spark that interest for the regenerated works of a lot of Greek and Roman art artists, writers. Uh, specifically Cicero. This guy has a lot of emphasis on Roman legal thinking. He is a Roman counselor and a lot of his ideology and a lot of his writing upholds Roman uh, Republic principles. Uh, we also have Homer. Anybody know who Homer is? Simpson. No. Close? Uh, Very close. He's a poet. He is a poet. He wrote two really, really important books. He wrote more than that, but two of them are well known today. Anybody give me one of those books? The Iliad. The Iliad. Well done. The other one. I'm really, I'm really trying to see if I can, how fast you guys can type this into Google. The Odyssey. The Odyssey. Well done. The Iliad and the Odyssey. Those are two really, really important books that are still used today. You guys will see things like that um, in your political science, in your history, in your English classes. These books are still widely used today. This idea, like I said in the video, of Renaissance thinking that we still use today. We also have Virgil. This is another Roman legal thinking. He wrote a lot about um, politics, um, but he is another one that Francesco Patriarch is involved in these guys becoming more popular. Their writings become more widespread. Other humanists grab onto this idea and run with it. All right. Like I said, here is your discussion question. What are some reasons you think the Renaissance began in Italy? I want you to give me one. I want you to think of a couple, but I want you to give me one. Why did the Renaissance start in Italy? Think about the shape of Italy. Think about where it's located. Think about what these Renaissance thinkers were looking at. What were they studying? Okay. I'm going to give you guys two, three minutes to do this. And then we're going to discuss and I'm going to look at your posts and we're going to talk about them. So try and think of some reasons for your claims here, guys. We're going to work on our defense a little bit.
Where are we putting in these answers at? Uh, there is a discussion post in Chapter 13 channel under posts. Um, it is the 414 discussion post. And I just want you to give me one reason. Think of a couple, but give me one as to why you think the Renaissance began in Italy. And like I said, guys, location is big. Location paired with what they're studying is a big one. It won't let me open my hidden channels. Jake, your Microsoft Teams really doesn't like you very much these days. That's OK, Jake. You can just be a sharer. You can share. All right. All right, um, so let's talk a little bit about what Emily said. Wealth, Emily, why do you think, and I'm calling you out here, why do you think wealth played a big part? Right. Yeah, so wealth does play a big part. It boosts that commerce. It allows those people to be making the money that they can put towards artists, that they can put towards this kind of stuff. Another thing is, let's talk about trade. Let me see, did anybody mention trade? Before I go any further, Jake, what were you going to say? About wealth, power, and uh, having churches. Yeah, okay, churches is a big one. But let's talk a teeny bit about trade. What's the shape of Italy? Uh, kicked. No, I'm just kidding. That used to be, I don't know if they still do that, but that used to be a joke when I was in middle school. If you were on Xbox, you'd say, what's Chip Italy? And you'd say boot, and they boot you out of the chat. It's very, very embarrassing. I'm not going to say who got got by that, but some people did get got by that quite a bit. Um, but a boot, it's, it's in the ocean, right? It's kind of surrounded by water. So we have a lot of trade being able to move in and out of Italy. Okay? So that trade is going to bring in that wealthy merchant class it's going to bring in funds for the area it's a big aspect it makes that wealth a little bit more solitary or that's not the word i'm looking for i'm looking for it's, it it allows it to be a little bit more solidified with all of that trade coming through the other aspect that i want to look at is churches and this is a big one okay we have interest in Rome, we have the Catholic Church. So the Catholic Church is a big patron. They're a good patron too. Okay, we talked about a lot of that religious art. The church is going to help fund a lot of these artists. The painting of the Sistine Chapel, that's a big aspect of art today that we still look at. Okay, another thing I want to look at is the location of Italy. They were interested in Greek and Roman philosophies, right? Where was Rome? Where is Rome today still? Where's it located? Italy. Rome is in Italy. So when you are surrounded by the culture, by the architecture, by the art, by the coins, okay, you're looking at this. You're looking at these ancient arts, ancient aspects, and you're thinking, oh, what did these guys study? What brought this about? How is that going to affect this ideology, well, it's going to spark interest. A lot of these guys are going to look around and see what they see every day and say, oh, let's see what this is all about. And it sparks an interest and it allows those thinkers to start looking at the variety and richness of the human experience. And that is a huge aspect of why Italy is the heart there. And then when we look back at trade, trade is both going to impact the wealth and also going to spread the renaissance right when we looked at the mongols and we looked at the silk road we saw how a lot of ideas spread through that trade the same goes for the renaissance that trade is spread through um or the ideology is spread through trade that's what happens here 
But those are those ideas here. That interest in Rome sparked because of location. Uh, the Catholic Church helped fund. Trade spread it. It served as uh, inspiration, a lot of that stuff. Um, I don't want to go any further because that's as far as we got with period one. But make sure that you post it and make sure that you submit your two questions. We talked a lot about those. You guys have vocab due as well, so get your vocab in also. Okay? 32. 32. Um, just so you guys know, though, some of those vocab terms may be on your Quizlet still. Quizlet? Yeah, so they might be there. I'm sure there's a Quizlet all, but I can just go and copy those. Probably. You can't. You have to do it in your own. I'm messing. Oh. Don't be messing. Playing with my emotions. All right, I will Even stop the recording. Right